My guys, we are back in the studio, in the lab, for another cook-up. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified. My name's Jaylen Beats, I'm a music producer. Be sure to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all those platforms at the handle down here. Let's get into this video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make these more authentic, humanized, insane guitar melodies that you hear Wheezy use or Turbo the Great cook-up that sort of style, the sort of YSL artist lane. So I'm gonna take you through sound selection, different chord patterns you can do, and sort of like cook up a melody with it and show you sort of like individual things specific to this style that you can do with the magnet link. And then finally, we're gonna look at effects chains. What sort of effects you can do to really give your guitar more vibe, make it less dry. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we're gonna just start out. Uh, I've got this VST Ample Guitar Lite. So it's free, so if you guys haven't got that, maybe go download that. 128 BPM is what I'm working with, and I'm in F sharp minor. If you don't know those notes in that key. Scale highlighting on helpers. Click the root note, and then what type of scale you want. So obviously I'm in F sharp Aeolian, which is just minor. All right. So I'm going to use that as the basis and then add some variation. So here I'm just gonna add a little bit of variation on the last uh, bar on the fourth bar. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is add uh, some triplets. All right, so I'm gonna try and add some sort of like top uh, melodies that are triplets. So uh, it's kind of quite a unique thing you hear in a lot of Gunners beats. They often use presets that do triplet rhythms as well in gross beats, so uh, I'm just gonna try it out. That was fire. I'm just gonna turn the velocities down on those. They're a little bit too bright. So I just slapped an EQ on here. Got it cut 139 hertz, um, or around that. And I'm just taking some top end there. I've got a little bit of chorus with a preset and uh, just turned the stereo up and the LFO one frequency. I don't really know what it does, but it just made it sound a little bit more stereo and I also altered the delay from 15 to 20. So yeah, going back to the effects, some other stuff you can add is, um, I quite like FabFilter Pro R um, and I just typically pick a preset and then I'll mess with it. kind of lose a little bit of the fullness. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of delay to it as well. Yeah, the ping pong feedback effect is definitely the one I use. 
All right, and now we're gonna add one more guitar melody just sort of for either a bridge or just for the verse, but really sort of like a simple adaptation of the first one. Now I'm gonna definitely not open this in an ample guitar like I feel like we need a little bit of difference in sound so I'm just gonna open up Omnisphere maybe I want something that's acoustic still but just a different style you can get octaves so maybe I'll do that instead of it being a guitar sound <laughs> Guys, that is the guitar sample part done. So I thought might as well add some drums, finish this one off. All right guys, so we are gonna just get some drums down. Uh, typically you'll keep them pretty simple. Um, so yeah, got some sounds here. Most of the sounds are from my colors kit, so yeah. So just laying a muffled snare down on every uh, first and third, no, every second and fourth uh, clap. just kind of trying to fill in the blanks at the moment with this beat sort of uh, to get more bounce with it so it may seem like I'm making it a little bit random because quite honestly it is because when you're trying to create the bounce with the perks you kind of have to layer them in at the same time all right just gonna use the drip hat I got the out on like 50% Just to uh, get the rolls on uh, the hi-hats like I did then, I just press Alt-A, it's arpeggiator, and then you can sort of pick um, what you want it sliced by. Got to get an 808 down. Normally with the guitar beats, you want a really short 808. And then if you're trying to sort of do the wheezy vibe, you want to have that sort of staggered double 808 in one beat. And then I just alter the velocities a little bit and just turn them up. One more perk. Guys, that concludes the video for today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, 
and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the bell icon to be notified. Check me out on all my other socials, Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok, at Prob by Jalib. And uh, I will see you in the next one, guys. Enjoy the beat. Peace. Jalib.